Hi there, Turgeon here, bringing you physics from afar. You have a test tomorrow. Remember that everybody's going to take the test. This is your preparation now. There are other videos you can rewatch. Also, pay attention, I'd say especially, to the practice tests and also the, the MCAS uh, next generation temperature and heat. I'm going to put some stuff on the test right off of that. Make sure you show work. I'm designing the test to take about 30 minutes. Some of you might finish it in 20 minutes. So a 40 to 45 minute block should be plenty of time. Remember, putting I don't know, that's not going to work. Um, if you just put your best guess, don't linger too long. You'll be OK. Just move on. Put your best guess for each thing. Remember, that feeling of I don't know, I mean, you can deal with it right now. It's, all, it's always about preparation. So the practice test is going to prepare you for this test along with other previous videos from the last few days and from last week remember the whole point about um you know watching a video is to unmute and listen here we go so here's your teacher teaching you it's like i'm taking this test i mean come on i need help help me teacher teach me all right person to person here we go We've practiced a lot with the definitions. So temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of individual molecules. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of individual molecules. Yeah, we've said that a lot. I mean, it's just, just repeating. Okay, but the solar oven, well, the, the solar oven shows the temperature increase because it, the thermometer probably went from about 20 degrees Celsius up to like it's crazy. They get it to like 30 uh, or 40 degrees Celsius when we really get them cranking. That means the average kinetic energy of molecules is rising. Notice the re repetition of the word molecules over and over. Heat is a flow of thermal energy caused by a temperature difference. Temperature difference. Not a temperature change, a temperature difference. Let me adjust my camera. Heat is a flow of thermal energy caused by a temperature difference. Remember, heat is a flow. It's like an active thing and it's energy, whereas temperature is not an active flow or anything like that. In the solar oven, the sun is way, way hotter, which means it's a higher temperature than pretty much the rest of the solar system. So that means that the earth and the solar oven and the thermometer are much cooler. So there's a temperature difference. So there's an enormous difference in temperature and thermal energy flows to the thermometer, including, every, I mean, if thermal energy flows to all the plants, like that's why, you know, I'm looking outside at the plants and stuff. That's why um, the sun basically powers our whole solar system. Sorry about this bleed through from the other side with this inky marker I was using. This heat is caused by a difference in temperature between the sun and the solar oven between the sun and the thermometer. Either one's fine. Definition of thermal energy is the total. This word's really important. Thermal energy is the total. Total kinetic energy of all of the, you guessed it, molecules in a body. And remember, I'm saying a body because I'm looking at the clouds. Clouds are a body. The air that's moving through the trees right now, it's kind of a windy day. That's a body. As it sits in the sun, the entire solar oven is gaining thermal, gaining thermal energy because every molecule gains kinetic energy. Think about it. Molecules are like moving around more actively and vigorously. So the average kinetic energy increases for those molecules. And like if I'm going too fast, I don't know, some of you think I'm going too slow. If I'm going too fast, you can just rewind. No big deal. Number four. These are obviously convection, conduction, radiation. Three, three ways. In the solar oven, uh, we want to minimize conduction. Well, there, I mean, I've said before, like, there's some ways you want to maximize it, but I'm going to focus on a different thing right here. We want to minimize conduction because we're going to use insulation so that the heat does not conduct out of the solar oven you the probably the last thing you'd want to do would be like a metal box because the metal box would just like send the heat right into the surroundings you want to capture the heat and keep it inside so this word's insulation 
do you want to maximize or minimize radiation? We want to maximize radiation. So we capture the sun's energy, which is in the form of radiation, which is electromagnetic waves, which are like light waves. Some electromagnetic waves you can't see. Again, if I'm going too fast, just pause it, rewind. Maximize or minimize convection. We're going to use glass or like we would use um, glass or saran wrap or, or clear plastic so that we have a green greenhouse effect. So the hot air does not escape. That air inside is going to get really warm. But if it's open to, to the air, like the slight breeze comes by and all the air escapes, like the same way you close a door to the oven so you don't lose the hot air. The hot coffee, the molecules, the motion of the molecules, motion of molecules is faster in the hot coffee. Motion of molecules is slower in the ice cube. Okay, uh, metal. Heat obviously flows from the metal to the rubbing alcohol. In the beginning, we're describing the rate. It is flowing really fast. And in the end, it is flowing really slow after 45 seconds, or it might even stop. It might even stop. Part C. After 10 minutes, the temperature decreases for the metal, but the alcohol's temperature, part D, after 10 minutes, it increases. Eventually, both temperatures become, you guessed it, equal. Now, this whole 200 joules thing, I explained this before, but if you have 200 joules flowing out, that means 200 joules flow into the alcohol. That doesn't mean a total of 400 joules flowed. It's like if I give you $200, I lose $200, you gain $200. Same thing. One's loss is the other's gain. Here's that classic uh, diagram. Be ready to sketch this where you have this nice downward curve of the metal, a nice upward curve of the alcohol. Temperature is in degrees Celsius. That's degrees Celsius. That is time in seconds. <coughs> I have COVID. All right, number seven. Motion, not spacing. <coughs> we're not interested in the spacing. We're interested in the motion. Classic. We've done that a lot. <coughs> I don't want to re-record this video. I've recorded like 15 videos in the last few days. <coughs> Heat transfer, when it says type of heat transfer, you're putting convection, conduction, or radiation. So if air, anything reference to air fluids, that's convection. If you dunk your hand in ice water, I know that's a fluid, but you have direct contact with the water, so that's conduction. <coughs> Number, part C. Copper wire is a really good conductor. So if you've got to be careful because you're going to start feeling that heat through direct physical touching contact from molecule to molecule, that's conduction. Part D, one meter away, you just feel the hot stove stop. That's radiation. You just feel the heat radiating like if you go near an engine, like a hot engine, or if you just go out in the sun. Radiation is, is waves but it's not mechanical waves like, like sound or something. It's electromagnetic, which means all forms of light, even light you can't see. This number means, and remember water's really high, it's how much heat you need. So we need 300 joules of heat energy to raise the temperature by one degree Celsius. We need 300 joules of heat energy to raise the temperature by one degree Celsius. This should look really familiar. I recognize that's mass. I recognize that I don't want that or that. And neither of those is a specific heat. That's a capital C, is a lowercase c. That's capital C, lowercase c. These are temperatures, so I want the temperature change, which is actually 50, because if you start in the negatives, you gotta go 10 degrees Celsius just to get to zero, and then it's four degrees Celsius more. So I'm doing uh, my classic heat equation, 7 times 900. Where did I get the 900 from the specific heat table? And I'm going to include that on your test. Boom. This means multiply. This one's a bonus. I may or may not put this as the bonus on the test. But it's just the same thing, but we're solving for a different variable. So when you plug in, you actually have a number to plug in for Q. 
you multiply these two, then you divide that number into that to get the triangle T. This should look familiar from the phase change video. Notice zero lines up with that plateau, 100 lines up with that plateau. Temperature does not increase during a phase change. Temperature does not increase during a phase change. Uh, Rewatch the phase change video if you need to, but this is uh, a rise in temperature, a rise in temperature. This is the molecules. Let's talk about molecules. When a solid is melting, that's here. Melting is right there. Um, boiling is right there. Temperature is constant. But if you're adding heat to water, this is right there. So the temperature is increasing. The molecules in an ice cube are gaining potential energy. If it's just melting, that's here. If they're gaining energy, but it's potential. Gaining kinetic energy. If it's not melting, it's just raising its temperature, oh, then it must be gaining kinetic energy. That's what temperature is, average kinetic energy of the molecules. Liquid nitrogen boiling, okay, they're gaining potential energy because they're not increasing their temperature, see? That's boiling. Heat, variable is the number that goes into an equation. Unit is the label. Temperature. Variable goes into the equation. It's not a lowercase t, okay? Not a lowercase t. Not a lowercase t. Degrees Celsius, capital C. Specific heat, lowercase c. See the difference? Not capital C, not degrees Celsius. That's nothing to do with it. Joules per kilogram degree Celsius. Mass we've been doing since September. So remember, Everybody's taking the test. Don't put, I don't know. I mean, if you don't know the stuff, learn it. You got to learn it eventually. Learn it now. Learn it through the video. This has been Physics from Afar.